hello friends uh today we discuss about the next part of part b of predictive ll1 parsing table okay uh, as we already discussed that the data structure for used by ll1 parser are three data structure that is one is input buffer second is stack and third one is parsing table for uh, for uh, predict for complete uh, solution of predictive ll1 parser there are three things that we have to compute the first thing is that we have to find two function first function and follow function second is that by using that those functions first and follow we create the parsing table and with the help of this parsing table we parse a tree we parse a tree we parse a string for a particular string with the help of this parsing table so the part a in our previous video as we already discussed about how we compute first and follow function and with the same question <clears throat> now we create the parsing table okay so this is the question that we have a grammar like this and uh, in our previous video we already discussed that for this particular grammar how we calculate first and follow now with the help of this question with the help of this table now we create our pass ll1 parsing table for this particular grammar okay so for creating the ll1 parsing table first in this step why with this why we create this table we create this table to see that for a particular variable which production is to choose in case of there are two options there are two choices like this like this like this so <clears throat> to avoid the confusion for choosing a particular uh, production we create a parsing table which is called as a ll1 parsing table now in this for creating this parsing table the row represent the non terminus and the column represent the terminal like this rows represent the terminal so for this particular grammar what are the terminals uh terminals are e e dash t t dash and f terminal means left hand side of the grammar now for the column represent the terminal value so for uh, now uh, consider or find out the terminal value so for this particular question the terminal values are id plus star open brace close brace and dollar okay so these are terminal values now for first production that is e derive t e dash uh for putting this grammar in which column we only consider or we compute the first of for e we only consider or we look first of t e dash what is first of t e dash first of t e dash is first of t and what is first of t first of t is id and open brace this means that we have to place this grammar in the id or in the open brace place so in in uh, in the place or in the column of the id we put this grammar e derive t e dash and in the open brace we also write down e derive t e dash okay like this now consider the next grammar this <clears throat> e dash derive plus t e dash or epsilon means there are two choices there are two production so first we consider the first production for this production e derive e dash uh, derive plus t e dash in which column we place this uh, this grammar first of this what is first of this first of this is plus it always start with plus so under the column of plus we put the this uh, uh, grammar that is e derive uh, e dash derive plus t e dash okay and for the this production e dash derive epsilon so there are there is no terminal which represent the epsilon so for in for the epsilon case we always take the follow of the left hand side means for the grammar e uh, e dash derive epsilon we always follow the Follow, uh, take the follow of left hand side follow of e, e dash is 
See here, follow fee dash is dollar and close brace. It means under the, uh, in the column of e dash and under the column of uh, dollar and close brace, we put e dash derives epsilon, e dash derive epsilon. Okay. Now the third value. Third value is t. Uh, third grammar is t derives f t dash. There is only a single choice. So how we put this value? Or how could we put this grammar under which column? Column of first of ft dash. First of ft dash is what? First of f. What is first of f? Id and open brace. So in case of id and open brace, we place the uh, grammar like t derive ft dash and t derive ft dash like this. Okay. So we draw a line to differentiate like this. Now, the next grammar, t dash derive star ft dash or epsilon means there are two choices. So, if you first work on the first choice, first grammar means that is t dash derive star ft dash. So, we place under the column of first of this. What is first of this? It always start with star. So, under the column of uh, star, we place t dash derive star ft dash. Okay. And for the case of t dash derive epsilon, we follow the, we take the follow of left hand side. Follow of left hand side means follow of t dash. What is the follow of t dash? Plus dollar and close brace. Means plus, under the column of plus, we uh, write t derives, so t dash derive epsilon. So plus dollar. This is t dash derive epsilon and closed t dash derive epsilon. Now for the last grammar, that is, F derives ID or open brace E close brace means there are two choices. So for first we consider this means F derive ID means we take the first of ID. So it means that F derives ID write down in the um, under the column of ID like this F derives ID and for this F dash sorry F derive open brace E close brace means first of this. What is first of this? First of this is it always start with open brace. So under the column of uh, open brace we write down F derive uh, open brace E close brace. So this is the second part uh, completed. Here we uh, first we compute the first function and follow function for a particular grammar and with the help of this first and follow we create this parsing table. So in our next video, for, for this same example, by taking the help of the parsing table and the first and follow function, now we parse a tree for a particular string. So keep watching for part C section. Thanks for watching.